Oh. I caught something on the drift. Yes. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Vegu. Hello everyone, another day on the creek. Today I'm testing the handing Magic L. Mine is a 562 ultralight. And today the creek is a lot higher. We had rain. Uh, we still have a lot of clarity. I paired it with a Casking Valiant Eagle. It's a very, very ugly combo. And after two minutes, there was nothing but down here on the creek, so I headed upstream. So, going on the same spot as last week. And I'm also using the last lure that worked there, the Leidum Hot Micromino, letting it drift as usual. What I can tell you right now about the ending Magic L, for the first five minutes I have it on my hand, it's a little bit faster action than usual for this price of a rod. You can see by the way that it's bending while I'm cranking. It bends a lot less under the load of the crankbait. Oh. I caught something on the drift. What the hell? Some guy just ate my lure top water because it's a floating lure. Oh, I don't like this. You see the rod? It's bending. And the line is touching the blank. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, let's hope he, he's not... He's trashing. First of the day. But not the last of the day, which is good. Let's see the guy. It's the usual size. Oh, I caught him because he swapped. Swap at the lure. Let's unhook. So the hooking under the chin is usual in here with this type of fish when they are striking everything that comes on the current and usually if I miss this one and I threw the lure on the same place they will full engulf the lure inside of their mouth. Try to be quicker than usual. Try to stretch it. So Again, same mark, 33, 30, maybe 35 centimeters. This one is skinnier than the other ones that I caught the other day. And oh, that, it's very, very pretty. So, Yep, this was quick. The rod is Kristen. The pressure is off, which also is nice. But I saw something. I don't know if it will be it, if it will be clear on the camera. The line was just touching the blank of the rod, and I don't know if you also can see this uh, line. It's biting a bit, you see? And probably was this type of jerking that triggered the fish on the bite. Even with the lure floating. Maybe the, the line got caught and the current 
just uh, made the lure dive a little bit and then the jerk made the, the, the fish pull the trigger on the bite even though he only swapped at the, at the lure funny thing about filming videos for YouTube and having a camera on your chest is that people assume that you know what you're doing which I don't so as per my knowledge I'm the only guy that fishes BFS style for shove I'm also the only guy that fishes BFS around me and I'm the only guy that usually fishes against the current usually you throw on the current and then retrieve it if I did it in here I would not I needed a 12 to 1 gear ratio so I just swap my Leidu Hot Micromino for some general uh, mixture of crank with jerkbait I will just see if it floats it's suspended I think a bit big but Usually when, when there's a lot of current in here, they like the jerking action. <clears throat> so, let's see if I can make something happen with this one. And last time I was here with the ineffable rod. I had a lot of bites on a similar looking uh, Crank weight, uh, jerk weight, but I think it's the video where I miss like five straight fish. So there's also that. And talking about that, I resume fishing on this side of the creek and go exactly on the same place where I lost all the fish on the other day. Ooh, something follow my lure. What the? Was this another bite on the drift? Now that I got the hang of it, I'm trying to mimic the line getting caught, just touching the spool with my thumb and jerking a little bit on the drift, trying to force another bite so I can close the day with two fish. Let's see if it works. I know it works because I'm editing the video and I saw everything and I was there also. Yes. Yeah, I told you. Come here. Big head on this guy. Quick release. Very weird today. They are eating it on the fall. It's weird thing. So the only complaint I have about the rod is what you see, I think, if the video is good enough. I think this rod could do with more guides because every time it's under load you just see the line touching the, the blank which really I don't care because it's not like it's destroying the, the um, braid but just a bit weird but I'm getting fish to bite the crankbait when it's drifting away so that is also very weird so and we reached the end of the session today i was fishing with the ending magic l mine it's the 1.68 meter version 
so 562 it's the ultralight also I paired with the Cast King Black Valiant Eagle I put the Solo King Akira but it just felt too big I ordered uh, the Pure Lure Silver Feather and maybe that I think it's almost the same size as the Valiant Eagle will be a better fit for this rod uh, overall uh, I had no complaints I caught two fish today which and uh, they were like on the first 20 minutes of the session I fished for about one hour as usual um, the rod performed good it has a nice feel to it the only thing that I think you will be able to see on camera that there are uh, too long of a space in between these two guides and I think maybe this one so when I was pulling the fish which was not that big it's I think it was 34 35 centimeter chub uh, the line so my braid started to touch the blank at at some point it just surpassed the so it the rod bend so much that the line just went under the blank which I think it's weird and it's not really supposed to ap happen but I'm fishing against the current I'm pulling I'm cranking the fish all the way up of the uh, the creek so that might happen I don't know if you have the rod just leave a comment below if that happened to you or this is a rod made for lighter fish I don't know in here usually when I'm using crankbaits this time of the year uh, the fish that I get are all about the same size so in between 27 and 34 centimeters now they are getting a little bit fatter so maybe it's, it's because of it but overall I really like the feel of the rod the casting also it's very 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 good uh, the accuracy that it gives me even with the over breaking on the casting Valiant Eagle too but what I like more most on this rod it's the um, the balance it's very very well balanced even though it's not my lightest rod it's the one that fit, feels the lightest on the hand uh, so overall I'm satisfied with the buy I the 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 problem that I told you about the line touching the blank didn't give me any real problems it's just something that most fishermen complain on the casting gear it's that you should never have the the line touching the the blank but overall I cannot complain I probably be using this rod when the silver feather arrives Whoa! Whoa, this shit was amazing! The fish just jumped in on the lure! Uh, we'll see. I'll see you guys also on my next video. Bye!